Hey guys, Jill, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. So today we are doing week six of 75 hard updates. Week six was amazing. Week seven, which is currently right now, is going great as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into week six of 75 hard. Okay, so it's day 37, and we are in Charlotte, North Carolina. If you guys haven't seen my uh, 75 hard on vacation, go check out that vlog. Yeah. But this is a big reason why. And to some, it may sound silly, but for me, it's like, it's a big thing and a big why of mine. And that is to be able to go into any store and be able to, number one, feel comfortable and like I belong. But number two, that's not like the, the big thing. But number number one, I guess, is like basically to just be able to shop in that store and be able to wear anything that I want. I get so sick and tired of these stores when you go in and their plus size section is like this and they don't even like the biggest size that they carry is like a 2x and like you you might well the biggest size that they do carry is a 3x but you might find like the most homeliest thing at i just i just it frustrates me so i cannot wait that is going to be my biggest thing and that's what i keep saying every time i look at my vision board and like my body my body previously and what i'm trying to get back down into is when I'm that size again, I can literally go into any store and I can buy anything I want and it's going to be amazing. And I just wanted to show that because we just came from City Trends and I was, I was very disappointed. I was like, you've got to be freaking kidding me. I also wanted to mention that when I looked at the clothes at City Trend that was labeled 2X, I was like, in what universe is this actually a size 2X? It literally looked, all of the clothes looked so small. Like the 2X looked like they were in extra large. The 1Xs looked like they were larges. It's just, I know it's a straight size plus, I know it's a straight size store with like, don't even call plus size section because that was not a plus size section. But I just, I'm kind of in this mode where I'm like, I'm over plus size fashion. I don't know. I'm just kind of, I, I want there. This was me as a little girl. I, I wanted to, and I wasn't even plus size back then. I wanted to make clothes for everybody. You know, I was like, why do big people or like bigger people have to be left out? Everyone should be able to wear what they want to wear. See, I was thinking, I was thinking as a young girl about this stuff. You, you never know. Like maybe I will do this collection and, and I'll be the next big fashion designer <laughs> at the age of 40 something. Anyways, um, another thing that kind of got me a little down, but is a big why of mine that I wanted to share was in Charlotte, the kids rode this little paddle boat and I so wanted to go on these boats. But the first thing that came to my mind was there's probably a weight limit. And Lo and behold, I look at the sign and dun, 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 the weight limit was no one is allowed to get on the boat that weighs over 250 pounds. So with that being said, I had to sit it out and my kids took the boat and I watched them and I'm so glad that they had fun. I'm really so glad that they had fun. However, because of my weight, I missed out on a really fun experience with my children that I've never experienced before. That was their first time in a paddle boat. I think I've been in a paddle boat before, but 
it was, it's just, it was a hard pill to swallow, but it's also lit that fire up under my butt. And it's like, okay, it is go. Not like it hasn't been go time, but it's go time. Like there's no more excuses. I am losing this weight. I want to experience these things with my babies. I want, which they're not babies anymore. And this is another reason why I don't like I'm running out of time y'all. And I know, you know, my son just turned 15. He is going to be, you know, working in a couple of years. And, and, you know, once they start driving and working, like you don't see them as much. And I want to be able to have these memories for my kids. I don't want them to look back at their childhood and go, we couldn't go to amusement parks because my mom couldn't fit in a, in a roller coaster, you know, or we couldn't go on these, these water slides because my mom was afraid she'd break them or, you know, she was past the weight limit. I do not want that to be my children's childhood. And I don't want that to be my reality anymore. So I just wanted to share that with you. Maybe one of you needed to hear that to maybe light the fire up underneath your butt. Maybe you're tired of that life too. Girl, you've got this. I've got this. And I cannot wait to go back to Charlotte. I'm going to specifically go back to Charlotte. Number one, because they had this donut that I couldn't, it was like a donut ice cream thing that obviously I couldn't eat. I'm doing 75 hard, but also I want, I want to go get that. And then I also want to ride that paddle boat. Gosh, darn it. Uh, which some of you might think that's so, that's so silly. Why would you want to do that? But I want to experience that boat with my children and I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And hopefully it'll be sometime this year. And I'm not even going to say, hopefully we can lose 50 pounds within the next, hell, and we have until December. Day 38, and we have officially made it halfway through this challenge. I only have whatever I just did, I have that again to go. So I am going to head down to the gym. I haven't looked at it yet. I have no idea if it's big, small, tiny. I don't know what's in there. Um, but there's a bike. I'm going to do a bike while I do some work, which I'm not supposed to be doing work on vacation. But that's just the life of when you're self-employed. Um, so yeah, I'll do that. But if they just have treadmills, then I'm just going to do the treadmill. But um, yeah, day 37, feeling good. I've got my smoothie that I've been sipping on. So I'm going to finish drinking this, head on down to the gym, and get a workout in. you guys we've made it out of the 30s we are officially in the 40s then we've got the 50s the 60s and 70 to 75 I am so excited I'm halfway through this week has been amazing yes I've been on vacation I've been enjoying myself I've been relaxing I actually haven't relaxed a whole lot as far as like just like lounged around here and there we've been doing a lot of walking a lot of uh, we went to um, where did we go yesterday? We went to an aquarium yesterday. We went to a mall. Like we've been, we've been walking. We've been walking fools. So that's been awesome. But I have been in a much better mood. Um, I haven't. First of all, I haven't had to wake up at like six every morning. And two, I've been 
just enjoying, you know, enjoying myself. If I have negative thoughts, I try to like turn them around immediately as soon as I have them and try not to focus too much on anything negative. And just really enjoy these days. Hold on. Like. But yeah, day 40. Today is Friday. It's a good day. About to go home, see our baby Bella. I miss her so much. Um, the dog sitter has been showing, sending me pictures, so that's been awesome. But we are excited. Don't want to get back home, but we are excited to get back home to Bella. So, yeah, that's day 40 update. I will see you guys someday. I don't know. I haven't really been updating you guys on the daily because I've been on vacation. But if you guys want to go see that, I did do a 75 vacation, 75 hard on vacation video. So go check that video out. I'm not sure. It's probably going to be up after this video, so eventually it will be in the description box. So if you don't see it there yet, then it's not up yet, but when you do see it, then it is up. So I will check in with you guys sometime soon. Day 42, Sunday, and I'm telling you, I've literally been in this bed all day long. I was supposed to go to church this morning, didn't make it, so we watched it online. I am so tired. I don't know if it's stuff that I'm dealing with emotionally that's draining me, or if it's the vacation that's draining me. I don't know. I don't care. All I know is that I really, this is the first day in this 75, well, in this 42 days so far, in this 75 hard journey that I have procrastinated and waited this long to get a workout in and where I have just been, I literally am at the point where I'm just like, I don't want to do, I don't want to fail, I don't want to quit, but I also really, really don't want to do these workouts. Like, I really don't want to do these workouts. Cool thing, though, is that this shirt right here, I just put it on, and I was like, I totally forgot that I had it in my drawer. And I tried it on, and I was like, it fits. Which it hasn't been able to in well over a year. So that's awesome. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go walk outside and get this first workout in, but I just wanted to be honest and real and upfront with you guys and say, it's the last damn thing I wanna do right now, but we're gonna get it done because I'm not going to give up and I'm not going to quit even though my body is screaming. Just, it's fine, Jill, if you give up, it's fine. We're just really tired and just take the rest. No, like I've rested, I've laid in this bed all day, I literally have not moved. <sighs> so let's do this. So just in case you guys were wondering, y'all don't I look taller? I'm telling you, when you lose weight, you like start to like do something with your posture and you just look damn taller. Anyways, this is the shirt I was talking about. It's really cute. I got it from Lane Bryant like a couple years ago. It has like these little bows on the side and slits. And it says feels, feels. The, the windows are like messing with me and my lighting right now, but it's really cute. I really like it. And yeah, let's go get this workout in. Look at me looking all tall. I'm only 5'4", y'all, so. <laughs> but I look tall today. Okay, so let's talk week six wrap up. First of all, I am so incredibly proud of myself that I stuck to everything on vacation. Um, when we went out to eat, I chose healthier choices. I continued with my workout. I continued with my gallon of water. Yeah, it was really cool. Um, the biggest non-scale victory is I went on vacation and I made changes. I didn't eat bad. 
I brought a blender. Like, who am I? Like, I literally brought things to stay on track. Um, but yeah, I brought a blender to make sure I had my green smoothie every day. I worked out twice a day, not only just once a day on vacation, but twice a day. Obviously, that's 75 hard. Um, and I lost weight on vacation. I lost 1.2 pounds. So that is something I'm very, very proud of. This week was, the week was, was fine. But then when I got home, it just kind of was like this rush of emotions it was so nice to be on vacation to kind of be away from everything and it just kind of brought me back to reality when I came here so I'm not gonna lie like I hit sort of like a slump and a slight kind of like sadness so yeah um, I was really sad yesterday I did not want to work out and I was just ready to give up and I was just like I don't want to do this obviously like I'm halfway through I'm not gonna give up but the temptation was definitely there and I really procrastinated yesterday um, when it came to my workout, I felt better after my walk. I really did, but I'm still just kind of feeling like, eh, you know, I, I'm, I'm definitely going to put myself out there and I'm definitely going to start dating again because I really am just tired of being alone and I have to, it's like I made that goal for myself. Um, and I know I talk about a lot of stuff. I let you guys in a lot of stuff in my, in my um, in my personal life because of that this is all part of the journey, you know um, I'm healing from trauma and Healing from trauma has not been easy It's a very lonely process and you you really truly learn who your friends are and you lose people Everyone says it. I have not met a single person who is healed from trauma that has not said that they've had to lose people on the way. And that's painful in itself. You know, I've already lost my husband. Now I'm going to lose other people in my life too. But I know that it's for the best. I know God has a plan for me. And I know that he has someone amazing for me. But I can't sit on the sidelines of my life anymore. And I'm going to get out there. I'm going to start dating. And I think that it will be really good for me to just get out there and practice boundaries and practice you know this this whole like healing that I've done which is a lot of it is you know learning how to place boundaries and when you learn to place boundaries and people aren't used to it that's when you start losing people because you start enforcing boundaries and you say hey you're not going to treat me this way and people don't know how to act when they're used to you just putting up with whatever and everything so it's interesting. It's going to be interesting. I'm really excited to see because I have so much self-love and yes, I still have a ways to go, but I definitely feel like I'm ready. I definitely feel like I'm able to set those boundaries and stick to them and not fall back and be like, oh, but he's so fine, you know, and I used to be scared about that. Like I used to be scared that I was going to like fall for someone and see all the red flags and still just be like, oh no, like I can change him. And I've fully understand and I have it in my head that you cannot change anyone. I don't want anyone to fix. I have standards now where before I didn't, you know, if you were hot and you kind of paid me attention like, hey, you know, and so, you know, there obviously had to be some kind of chemistry along with that too, but yeah, I definitely have standards now and there are things in my head that are popping off. It's like, if he were to do this, it'd be like, er, not the guy for me. And if he were to do this, not the guy for me. So definitely um, looking forward to dating. So yeah, we'll see. Um, I've been talking to a couple of people and we'll see if something pans out. That was one of my goals was for, for myself for April was to go on one date. So I'm working on it and I didn't think I was going to, but you know, I was on vacation. So I did have a lot of, little bit of extra time um, to be able to talk and entertain conversations with men. So yeah, that's everything. That was week six. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this, I know that this isn't my Miss Green Eyes channel, but I know a lot of you are here from my Miss Green Eyes channel. I got this in the mail. This is my new, well, it's not like new merch. I've had it for a while. But I was like, why don't I have my new merch? And so I bought a phone case. 
which I am absolutely loving. And I also bought this t-shirt and I also have more shirts that are on the way. I was wanting to do something on this channel with cutesy sayings. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comments down below. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next Monday with another video or we might do sometime this week. I don't know, but I'll see you then. Bye.